Hi everyone, my name is Ruben Harris. I'm one of the co-founders of Breaking Stars and we're here with Ryan, who is in the Hack Reactor program right now. And she just went through the structured study program to get into this. And so we're gonna go into details about that. Um, but for those of you that are thinking about going to a coding bootcamp, even though all of the information is accessible online, a lot of times, you know, it's paralyzing trying to figure out how to get ready to get into a bootcamp. My brother's going through it right now. Um, we'd love to hear a little bit about why you decided to do the structure study program versus the Hack Reactor prep program because there's a lot of these prep programs available and why you decided to do what you're doing. So thank you for being with us. Um, you know, can you tell us a little bit about what you were doing before and then we can walk into that? Sure, yeah. So I was a fourth grade teacher before before uh -huh. Hack Reactor uh -huh. um, and I wanted to try something that was not education. I wanted to try something a little bit different. Yeah. Um, and so. I thought I'd pursue technology as something totally outside of the educational sphere, yeah. um, and I immediately was hooked on it. it was were, were, the, were you also interested in teaching the kids how to code at all? Yeah, actually, um, that was sort of what one of the one of the things that got me interested in Hack Reactor. Okay. So, as a, a first year teacher in a school with very limited resources, it was hard for me to keep track of grading and, and yeah. paper, and kids were like running out of pencils every five seconds. Um, so bringing technology into the classroom in the form of like Google Classroom, um, Khan Academy, things like that, yeah, yeah. Um, was awesome. And then my principal was like, "Why don't you have them use these coding resources like Code Monkey?" And there, there's yeah. like a million different uh, coding apps for kids. On, yeah, people on teach that. languages, so why don't you teach them a coding yeah. language, things like that? So you talked to us a little bit in the pre chat about you know what got you interested in actually taking the job. Can you talk a little bit more about you know what led you to these decisions about whether doing the structured study program or Hack Reactor Prep? What led me to do Hack Reactor Prep? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I didn't know anything about computers and coding and still yeah. to this day I'm like, how do I make a file? So I'm a little bit shaky on, on sort of basics like that. Yeah. Um, and something like the Hack Reactor Prep or the Hack Reactor uh, SSP was, I would not be able to get into a boot camp without something like yeah. that. It, yeah. was really, it was really important to be able to learn the fundamentals and then be able to go from there and, and work with more advanced topics. Yeah, so for the people that don't know, what's Hack Reactor Prep? What's the Structured Study Program? So Hack Reactor Prep is um, a version of, it's, it's, I think it would come before Structured Study. So you have yeah. Hack Reactor Prep where they teach you the basics sort of starting from almost zero. You have to have a little bit of JavaScript, but um, they, they start from you, you sort of know what a function is and you know a little bit about it and then they lecture it's sort of a lecture series with some built-in pair programming mm -hmm. for I think it is a month and okay. it, it gets you started okay and then the structured study program they assume you're coming in with even more knowledge than you would um, to the to the prep course uh -huh. and so you're able to work a little bit more independently there's not as much lecture got it so how, how did that uh, did you try to take the technical assessment before doing the program before doing the SSP, I did. So I did the. I knew I wouldn't be ready before I did the uh, the prep program. Yeah. Um, because I had no JavaScript, and yeah. then I did the prep, and I thought, you know, maybe I could try the technical assessment. If I don't get in, I could just maybe gauge what it's going to be like. Yeah. Um, and so I did the technical assessment, and they referred me to the SSP. They said you're not quite ready to be in, into the immersive hack yeah. reactor program, but you're close. So let's do this tech, the structured structured study program, and then move from there. Nice. And so you you touched on the. One of the nuances, which was the mentorship, the HIR. So, what is the HIR, and how did that like kind of help you, you know, accelerate and, and really get ready for that assessment? Right. So, in the structured study program, we had the HIR, which is a hacker in residence, okay. and it's uh, somebody who's been through the immersive program. Uh -huh. They they know JavaScript. They've taken. I think they get some training in how to sort of teach you the concept without giving you the answer. So, how to think <laughs> about these concepts rather than just this is how you do it, which yeah. was helpful. Um, and having that resource to fall back on to know that I had that resource, even if I didn't use it, was so important because if I got stuck somewhere, yeah. I before I had, you know, a mentor like that, I would sort of shut down and, and not know where to turn and maybe like spend three hours Google searching something that is was pretty easy. So yeah. having the, the HIR was so important because then I didn't have to spend so much time on those like, minute concepts and I could get my head around some more fundamental pieces of JavaScript that I needed moving forward. Very cool. So you, you're in the program right now. Right. Right. So how, how would you say, you know, your experience has been right now with like a, a super honest answer, not like, you know, the for the for the cameras or anything like that, but like if you didn't take the social study program, like how would your experience have been, you know, based off of, you know, what you're doing now? 
if I didn't take the structured study. Yeah. Um, I don't think I would have gotten in without the structured study. I don't think I had enough JavaScript fundamentals to get in. I think the structured study was pretty crucial to me getting the skills that I needed in order to get into the immersive program. Yeah, um, yeah it, was, it was definitely a huge boost That's for great. my skills. And so how's your, your partners and your family feeling about this whole decision and leaving the teaching world to doing this now? They've been really supportive about it. I mean, it was a pretty big sort of financial um, leap to take in terms uh -huh. of tuition and then being unemployed for an indefinite amount of time yeah. um, and being you know not not present at all with them was, was another piece of it yeah. um, I am from the East Coast and my family is on the East Coast so I wasn't really seeing much of them anyway yeah. um, my partner is actually focusing on her career right now too so oh, it, nice. <laughs> it actually worked out really yeah. well because yeah. um, as a teacher I had the summer off and I still get paid through the summer so it yeah. actually worked it was like the perfect yeah. time <laughs> nice nice yeah. really cool well, we're really excited to see you after you graduate and start going through the job search and anything that we can do to support us, you know? Great, thank you. Thank you.